Good morning, church family. Would you please join me in prayer? Our Father in heaven, we continue to pray for our world right now and the many places of struggle that we see. We ask for your mercy to bring an end to this pandemic. We lift up India experiencing extremely high infection rates as well as deaths. We also pray for the people of Colombia and ask you to bring peace in the midst of civil unrest. God, we thank you for your continued faithfulness to our sister Sharon Bowles in the midst of her cancer treatments. Thank you, Lord, that she has been able to continue her treatments. And God, we pray that you would bring complete restoration to her health, giving her the strength and the energy that she needs to continue. We also lift up any others in our congregation right now dealing with health challenges, whether they be physical or mental. Lord, we pray for healing. We pray for wholeness and the touch of your hand in our hearts. We pray for the people in our lives that you've placed us around who do not yet have a relationship with you through Jesus. We ask you to give us opportunities to share the hope of the gospel with them. And we pray as well for you to open their hearts to receive your grace. God, some of these people are those that we've been praying for for years. So please continue to give us steadfastness in prayer and help us to trust that you're still working, even though we may not be able to see it. Father, we thank you for sustaining university students through this past semester. And God, we praise you for the hope of a return to in-person classes in the fall. We pray that you would now give the students rest and recovery, and that you would also continue to protect students and teachers in our high schools and elementary schools and preschool programs that still need to meet weekly and contend with this virus. Father, we lift all these prayers as well as the many others that are on our hearts right now to you. Your word tells us that all who are weary and heavy laden can always come to you and find rest for their souls. So we come to you today in our weariness and in our joy. We trust you to fill us. We trust you to restore us once again. And we pray all these things in the name of your son, Jesus, our risen savior and redeemer. Amen.